Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and I want to show you my uh, my Dodge Charger from it's from Eat My Dust, and my friend uh, Billy C. Lewis um, used a uh, Kyosho 70 Charger to uh, to make this. But um, I do plan to make a RC car short story video, uh, but it's gonna be a while before I get to it because I got some other projects I want to get to first. But uh, I want to show you this. That I think it's really sweet. Uh, there's very limited space here right now. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> but yeah, he did a lot of work to this. Um, originally, my, my charger got smashed up when I was test driving it. When I was testing the, the car for you guys. It's like... When I was going backwards with my car, uh, we accidentally ran over it because my driver didn't hear me say stop. So ran right over this uh, over this RC car. So if you ever watch Eat My Dust, this 70 Dodge Charger didn't get much screen time. But it, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, even Billy likes it like this. He likes these uh, rare cars. You, you barely see this. The main uh, car in that movie it was a uh, it was a Dodge or sorry it was a it was a Chevy Camaro. And um, this car chases it at one point. But if you look, there's so much detail on this. Yeah, my friend Billy LeWerth and his friend uh, worked on the, on the decals. But Billy did all the, the mods to this. Because originally this car was black. That was a close one. <laughs> I, I kind of rubbed it, guys, that my camera. But you have to say, rubbing is racing. But let, let, let me show you the uh, some of the mods that he did to this. All right, let's move it up here. Look at it. So it, it was really hard to see everything because it, it was an old movie. But the front has these weird looking uh, fenders. I don't know if you can see that, but there, there's some fenders up here. Um, this car was either a 68 or a 70. Uh, whatever the case, it worked well with this car because it's, it's a, a Reggie, a, a Reggie, a 70. Charger, which you know they look similar. I think the '68 Charger has this little uh, um, marker right here. But yeah, if you look at the details, wow, there's there's so much details. Let me see if I can turn this light on. Let's see, there you go. So you can see the the, the fenders in the front. Um, I took as many screenshots as I could. Took as many screenshots as I could for Billy. And then him and his friend did all these little uh, decals here. Oh shoot, the lights turned off. Let me turn the lights back on for a second. Don't look at me, guys. I'm in my pajamas. So, yeah, it was, it was very hard to, to go on this, but it had the number 13. And this is the way it was written in the movie. People say, yeah, it looks hand-drawn. Yeah, it is supposed to be hand-drawn, but that's the way it is in the movie. Very rough job. It had Buster right here on the side. And then it said Chuck Griffith Tires, which I think is an allusion to the uh, director. The, the director of this movie was Charles Griffith. So I'm assuming that's his little homage to himself. Have this 13 back here. There's um, there's some actually some actual racing decals on the back. Uh, fender or bumper on the back. And the other side, more details. Here's the top of it. Um, oh yeah, and the wheels. Uh, used a mix of, of Kreger wheels and Rally wheels. So it's the same on both sides. But yeah, this is. Very nice. I just want to show you guys because it, it's been sitting on my in my my thing for a while, and I haven't written I have not written a script for this RC project yet. But there is very little room to do anything in this. Shoot, so that's the kind of thing I wanted to avoid, but it was it was a soft. <laughs> Alright, easy there, buddy. Yeah, thing has a mind of its own. But that's it. I just want to show you my, my custom RC car uh, made by Billy Tillaworth using a um, Kyosho Phaser Dodge Charger.